I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Sagittarius, the recent past energy, well, we got temperance and it's with the world card. Now, temperance can be that some of your relationships in your life, they're probably going quite well. But for some of you, you might need to take a look and see if there are any deeper personal issues that could be standing in your way. And if there are, how to balance them out or work through them and try to integrate them. Because when you get temperance, the ideal is actually to do what it takes to find balance in yourself, in your relationships, and with any goals and aspirations that you might have. So, what this is telling me that for a lot of you, Sagittarius, you, you were trying to bring balance back into this relationship that you were in. It could have felt like it was lacking that. Yeah, there was no um, peace of mind. It felt like there, the peace of mind had lost the connection. There probably was no patience. And maybe there was some turmoil. Um, yeah, temperance can be about trying to find peace of mind. So you figure in the recent past is that if the connection wasn't brought back into balance, then it would probably be time to end the chapter with this person. And I say this because it's clarified by the world card, and that's the card below the word pass. World card is about closure, ending a cycle, ending a journey. Yeah, completing a chapter. So that's how you felt. You were with someone who who you felt like the connection was just way off whack. It didn't have any type of balance. Or it had lost its balance. It probably was balanced at one time. And things were just way off track. So if you didn't you couldn't figure out how to bring it back into a stable and a good peace of mind for yourself and your person, then a lot of you are just ready to just consider it done and over. Closing the chapter for some of you. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the King of Cups, and it's with the Ten of Pentacles. Now, this King of Cups is a very loving type of energy. This person... Um, he is compassionate, warm, friendly, tolerant, King of Cups. Yeah, whenever you see the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups in a reading, just know those are two of the most loving energies in the deck. It's all about love, kindness, and compassion. And what's in the cup is, is love. Yeah, and because it's with the Ten of Pentacles, the card that's below the word present, it's all about um, a place to call home. It's about commitment. It's about someone wanting a relationship. It can be also be about a second chance, this Ten of Pentacles. So this is telling me, coming up, you could be thinking, like, where the heck is my Ten of Cups? I'm sorry, Ten of Pentacles. Where is my King of Cups and where the heck is my Ten of Pentacles? You could be just wondering, it, are, is your person going to bring that into your life? Are they going to come back and bring it to you? Because you, you need your King of Cups. And you need your Ten of Pentacles. 
So this is an indicator that it could be right around the corner because you got two good cards right here in the reading for what's coming up. King of Cups, a lot of love. And Ten of Pentacles, is, everyone wants a Ten of Pentacles in a reading. Everyone. It can also be about a lot of money coming your way. Place to call home. So you could just be feeling that this is the time that you would like to have your person come toward you like this. Or it could be coming in. It could be coming in Sagittarius. So get ready. Because these are two great cards in the deck. So we move on over and take a look and see what the challenge is. So we got the Sun card. And it's with the Three of Cups. Now the Sun card, as you can see in the picture, it pops out over all the cards in the deck. It's all about being happy. Bright, happy, and adding sunshine to someone's life or someone, or someone could be adding sunshine to your life. Now the Three of Cups is here, so this is telling me that this, um, someone's making a return. This could be the person that you felt like you needed to close a cycle with because the connection was off balance. You're probably still involved with this person. And it looks like they're realizing that you're the one that made them happy. Yeah. So, the Three of Cups, the card below the word challenge. That's about rejoicing, happiness, friendship. You could, for some of you Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio. Yeah, or a Pisces when you get this Three of Cups. That's what a lot of you are dealing with. And they want back in. It looks like they're coming back. They could be ready to offer you a place to call home. This Ten of Pentacles. They could be ready to offer you commitment. Marriage, engagement, that's what you get with the Ten of Pentacles. So if that's what you were thinking about, it's showing up here in your reading. They could be ready to offer you love. Yeah, they remember, they know that you, you're the one that makes them happy. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. Now we got the chariot. And it's with the Knight of Wands. Yeah, so chariot goes really fast. It takes off a hundred miles an hour. And it's not a crazy type of speed. It's not a crazy energy. It's actually directed, controlled, and it has a goal in mind. So your person that that wants back in, they could be very um, confident. They are planning, and they have a dream and a goal in mind with you and they're ready for things to get back on track really fast very fast they're ready right like right now yeah very anxious put it that way they're ready to take charge of this and get it back on track but for some reason the knight of wands the knight of wands the card below the word outcome it's an in and out type of energy yeah, very in and out. So, you might feel like this is too much of a rush. Because the, they put a, they put a, they'll be putting a rush on you with the chariot here. And I'm getting, because they're serious this time. There's no need to wait. Now when you got the Ten of Pentacles in a reading. And the King of Cups. Maybe it's you who could have some hesitation. Because you were ready to close out a chapter with this person. But here they come. Ready to take things maybe to the next level. Ten of Pentacles, it goes there. To the next level or higher. They, they feel that you're the one, Sagittarius. But you're hesitant. You got one foot in and one foot out. So that is your reading, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, 
If you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for our personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those, so Sagittarius, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this, stay strong. I hope you come back and join me for the next Sagittarius reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, don't forget, keep in mind, the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. Meaning you could be them, or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because, once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Sagittarius, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.